Okay, I'm finally getting started on my boat console. Got the sheet of 316 aluminum. I think it's 3031 or whatever. It was 200 bucks. So <clears throat> I'm gonna cut the sheets out of this and make a console for the Carolina skiff. It's gonna be a little crabbing console, just a steering wheel on top, and the controls down at an angle. Um, but got my new carbide blade and some lube and I'm gonna start cutting it out. Always remember when cutting aluminum out with the circular saw, make sure you have good ear protection, eye protection, and any other kind of protection because circular saw blade throws these little burrs out which are not too pleasant. I got done cutting my pieces out. That's what's left of the sheet. And you can kind of see what it's going to look like. I'm getting ready to tack it up. And uh, the steering wheel is going to go on top here. And the controls will go here. And it's only going to be a foot wide. Just enough to put a battery inside of it. <clears throat> I might put some gauges on the top. It's a crabbing console for trot lining, but it's simple. You know, it's not in the way. The steering wheel is flat on top, which I like because I stand up when I drive anyway. So, I'm going to get her tacked up, see if I can get it square. I might just use that as a table. I don't really have anything square in the shop. The floor is not square at all. <clears throat> I got this console tacked up. Um, it's fairly square. I'd say the uh, best part about it is that it's going on a boat, and uh, nothing on a boat is square. And uh, the steering wheel will go up here in the middle, and then the controls will go here. Probably put a gauge or two here. And uh, on this side, I'm going to cut a door, pretty much the whole size. You know, nice big door so I can get the battery in there and, and be able to run the cables and, uh, and, you know, a bunch of other stuff. I'll show you a picture of the design I'm stealing this off of. A uh, buddy of mine's got a work boat, so um, I'll get this baby welded up. Um, I've marked the door out where I'm going to put the door. It's be that bottom line there and then uh, right there. And I, I cut this sliver with a circular saw first, plunged it, and I just put uh, these hinges on, these nice stainless hinges with some stainless bolts uh, so that uh, I know it'll line back up. It would be a pain in the ass to put the hinges on after the door's loose. So, uh, they're kind of straight, for, you know, just kind of making this up as I go along, eyeballing it. That one's a little crooked. But the uh, the holes uh, do, the holes are just a smidge bigger than a quarter inch, so they have a little bit of movement, which is good, so I can, if I have some issues with the two binding against each other. Uh, and I got this latch. Um, which will go over here, just a regular stainless latch. And I think I'm going to have a problem with the door swinging in, but uh, I'll probably put some tabs on the bottom or wherever to keep the door from swinging in because uh, it's going to be pretty jagged edge. I'll probably clean it up with a grinder. Just, you know, I don't want to, there's going to be a lot of wires hanging in there and shit, so I don't want them to cut it up. Okay, I got the door cut out. Uh, Works pretty good. I had to use the zip wheel to clean up that corner and that corner, and uh, it's sagging a little bit right here. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm probably going to put a piece of trim all the way around it. Actually, I thought about it, but uh, it opens pretty nicely. Got plenty of room now. I can seal it up in here and and build the feet to mount the uh, mount the console to the floor. I'm going to put a Weld a piece of plate all the way around it, and uh, a nice, uh, nice stainless. I couldn't put a bolt on that one there because it would interfere with the latch, but uh, it's on there. And I'll finish drilling holes, putting bolts in the stainless hinges, and uh, pretty happy with it so far. Um, I was afraid the door was going to warp. A lot. I might end up putting some angle on the inside of the door to um, strengthen it up, but it's 316 plate, so 
uh, should be should be okay in theory and I uh, don't want to put a piece of angle on the inside of the door and have it bind with something else inside but uh, I might just leave it alone I'm definitely gonna put a piece of trim piece all the way around on the inside and uh, it's gonna be a bitch to weld but uh, I think I'll feel happy about that because <clears throat> I used a circular saw blade and there's a pretty good gap I mean I did my best but uh, there's a pretty 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 big gap all the way around it which could uh, you know if it rained on it it could probably let a little too much water in there uh, you know so coming along <laughs>